Welcome. I've done a couple of previous videos on this Ingenious EWS 850 AP outdoor access point. This was provided to me by Ingenious, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. And I'll put a link in the description to my Ingenious playlist where you can find those videos. I'll also put a link to this product on Amazon, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I want to compare two phones. I have an iPhone SE first gen and an iPhone SE second gen, and the first gen uses Wi-Fi 5, or AC wireless, and the second one uses Wi-Fi 6 or AX. So I'll take a quick look at the configuration here on the access point. I'm only focusing on five gigahertz here. So I have five gigahertz here on the right. The operation mode is set to access point. Channel HT mode is set to 80 megahertz. For channel here, I have UNII3, so it's these frequencies here. There were some other access points in the area using these frequencies on top, so I selected the bottom. I could also select an individual frequency, but these were all clear in my location. I have 11 AX mode set to enable. I only have 5 gigahertz turned on right now, and I could have 2.4 turned on too, but I didn't want to conflict with some other networks right now. And this is just the basic configuration here. I think that's about it here. So I'm going to connect up to the first iPhone and I'll run a speed test, then we'll connect up to the second one and do the same. Okay, so I'm on my iPhone SE, and I'm connected up to this open speed test, which is running on another one of my computers. So this is like a speed test tool that's web-based, but allows you to run on your LAN instead of over the internet. So I'll start this. Looks like we're getting around 300 megabits per second download speed. And for upload, we're getting around 240. It's jumping around quite a bit. So we got 228. So if I were to run this multiple times, these numbers are going to jump up and down just a little bit. But that gives you a good idea of what kind of performance I'm getting on my old iPhone SE. And that's pretty decent. You can do a lot of things with that. Okay, so now let's switch to the newer generation, which has Wi-Fi 6 and has better wireless capabilities. So I'll start that test. And as you can see here, it's blowing away the old version. So we're around 950 megabits per second. Now this is on a Synology NAS, and this NAS is also doing other things on the network right now. So it could easily be eating up some of that network bandwidth. So this is the upload test. So I'm guessing this is lower because I have software on there that's doing surveillance and things like that. I'm going to switch to another computer now, running the same software, and we'll run this test again. So we're getting around 900 megabits per second, just under it this time. And we're getting about 630 megabits per second upload. So this access point actually has 2.5 gigabit capabilities, and I don't actually have anything that can run with that. But as you can see with this simple test, that the newer generation using Wi-Fi 6 is much, much faster. So I'm going to be doing some other speed tests with this in the future, but I just wanted to do a quick comparison because I have access to both of these phones, the older generation and the new generation, and I thought it would be an interesting comparison. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.